Shout out to my mom for helping me come up with some of the questions. You're the best. I love you. Friend of the Devil by Din Vincent. Yep. Okay. Is May, right? March, April, May. Yes. See, I know. My months. March, April, May. Thank you, Jan. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with an original tag. At least I hope it's original. I googled and like YouTubed my idea and nothing came up so hopefully I'm not stealing anybody's idea if I am please let me know and I'll like leave the video down below and you can check that out I'm sorry if I stole your idea I didn't mean to but basically what I did was take the birthstones of each month and google what they were associated with or say like what they remind me of and then put a question related to that the first birthstone is for January and it is the garnet and it is associated with warding off negative forces and dark energy so, you need to name a book with the darkest character or evilest character you can think of. I'm going with Reginald Mather from The Hand of the Devil by Dean Vincent Carter. He's this man who lives on a remote island in the middle of nowhere and he basically lures people to this island so that he can perform experiments on them. And it's just like, who does that? Who goes and kidnaps, basically kidnaps people to kill them to do these experiments? Like, what? Next is February, and it is the Amethyst, and you need to name a book with regal qualities. So this could be characters who are, you know, queens or kings or princes, whatever. Or it could also be, like, the king of all books for you, something like that. Anything that makes you think of regal qualities. So I'm obviously going with the king of all books area of that question, and I'm gonna say The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Because I can't go a tag video without mentioning The Duff, so I needed to somehow make The Duff applicable, and this is how. For March, the birthstone is aquamarine, and when I look at an aquamarine, I kind of think it's like washed out kind of color. So you need to name a book with a wishy-washy character, so somebody who's like not strong or is a follower. And I'm choosing Zoe from Forget You by Jennifer Eccles. She drove me insane. Then she gets in this car crash on a night of a party and she loses her memory and basically she thinks that she's dating this one guy but something happened between her and another guy and it's just like a big mess. I really didn't like this book. I think I gave it like a two or three out of five stars. Zoe just pissed me off and I thought she wasn't a strong character. She had no character development. She basically was just like, oh my god, I love this boy but he doesn't love me but this other boy likes me so maybe I'm gonna like this boy instead and it was just annoying. For April, it is a diamond, so I said a diamond in the rough, so pick a book that you really liked but isn't well known. And I'm going with Daddy by PJ Ferguson. I absolutely love this book. Not a lot of people have read it, but I think it's amazing. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's about a man named Joe Williams who something tragic happens in his family and he needs to depend on these 12 jury members to either serve justice or not. And it is just such a thrilling book. It's really slow at the beginning, but then once you get into all the plot twists, you can't put it down. I finished it in like two days. Next is May, and it is an emerald, and it's said to balance energy. So I'm saying that you need to find a book with two characters that balance each other well. And I am going with Natalia Stolfi and Bran Lockhart from Upside Down by Leah Riley. Bran is the bad boy, and Natalia is kind of like the goody-goody two-shoes kind of girl. And they just work really well together. They're like one of my OTPs. I love them together. I think they're amazing. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. It's really good. It's also not really well known. But it's a cute romance novel if you're into that. Next is April and it is a pearl. And it is associated with loyalty. So I said you need to name a book with a character who is loyal to the end. And I'm going with Katniss from The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. She was extremely loyal to PETA the entire time. By the third book, if you've read it, I'm sure you have, Peter's kind of not himself and she still believes that he's going to come back and deal with all his things and situations that are going on with him and she just stays loyal to him the entire time. And so yeah, I'm going with Katniss. For July, the birthstone is a ruby and it is like a really dark deep red. So I'm associating it with blood and therefore a book that made your blood boil or made you super mad. I'm going with Tease by Amanda Maciel. I gave it a 2.5 stars on Goodreads. It might have been a 2. I can't remember. But this book made me so 
angry. It's about this girl who commits suicide and it's told from the perspective of the bully and basically she just spends the whole time complaining and saying that it's not her fault that this girl killed herself and that she was like messed up and annoying and a slut and it just drove me insane that people are that ignorant and it just made me so angry. For August it is a peridot and it's like a really pale green color so I kind of went on the fact that like it pales in comparison to other things. So what I said was you need to find a supporting character which you liked more than the main character. So the main character paled in comparison to the supporting character. You, you get what I'm saying? I don't know if this makes sense to any of you but it makes sense in my head. So I'm going with Alice from Twilight because Bella annoyed the living heck out of me but Alice was such a badass I loved her so much. If she was the main character, I would be a happy camper. I mean, I love Twilight, I really do, but I think Stephanie Meyer should write a book from Alice's perspective because I would enjoy that. September is a sapphire and it is blue, which reminds me of the ocean, which reminds me of calmness and things like that. So I said you need to find a book that had a calming effect on you and I'm going with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I loved this book. I was laughing out loud, most of it, which made me calm because it put me in a happy place and therefore this is my answer. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I have a review if you want to hear my thoughts. I love this book. If you haven't read it already, what are you doing with your life? Read the book. Next is October and it is an opal and it is my birth month so I love it very dearly. Very, very dearly. An opal is like really iridescent, it has like a lot of colors and shine to it, so I said you need to find an iridescent book. You can base it off of the cover, or you can base it off of like characters in the book that are really like quirky or like colorful. I chose two books for this because I couldn't decide. The first book that I chose for October is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. It's kind of just really shiny, which made me think of iridescent, but I don't know if it really counts, but... I like the shine. And then the second book that I chose for this is Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown. And it kind of has a shine a little bit to it, but it has the blue and the red that's kind of in an opal. I don't really have books that go with this. I just like the concept of my questions, so I thought I'd leave it in and hope that you guys have books that work for this. Who knows? For November, the birthstone is a topaz and it is associated with resilience. So I said you need to find a book with a character that rises to the top in the face of adversity. And I'm going with Nathan from Half Bad by Sally Green. Everything is stacked against him and he's still fighting. He's a trooper. Nobody wants to support him in anything he does and he just keeps fighting. And I admire that. You go, Nathan. So he's my choice for resilience. And finally, December is a blue zircon and it is associated with friendship, so I'm saying you need to find a book with a friendship that you want to be a part of. And I am going with Alice and Cat from Alice in Zombieland by Gemma Shellwater. I love them together, they are so sassy and they're just like the best of friends and I am sassy and I want to be part of their friendship so we can be sassy together. Alright guys, so that was my tag. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you film it and link it down below so I can watch it because I'm actually super excited about it. I really hope you guys do it. Please, don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. I'm gonna leave who I'm tagging down below. It's gonna be like a bunch of people. If you're not on the list and you want to be tagged, just let me know and I'll add you down below because I want everybody to do the tag because I had fun filming it, so hopefully you have fun filming it. So let me know if you want to be tagged and consider all of yourselves tagged. Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! I forgot her name. Main character. It's a stone. Oh my god. I forgot the name of the first stone. Wow, August is not my month apparently. An opal is a really iridescent book, so it has like, no, it's a stone. Why do I keep saying it's a book? And it is by, who's this by? Anne Greenwood Brown. By Anne Green Brown. Greenwood Brown, goddammit.